questions? Of course, any question is hard for Kamala. Her IQ is room temperature at best, if that room is a walk-in freezer. <laughs> but 60 Minutes was happy to help her out. Listen to this preview clip they released before the full interview aired on the subject of Israel. It seems that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is not listening. Well, Bill, the work that we have done has resulted in a number of m movements in that region by Israel that were very much prompted by or a result of uh, many things, including our advocacy for what needs to happen in the region. What? What the f was that? Now, she's she's the only presidential candidate in history who needs a translator even when speaking english but get this after kamala got dragged online for that it seems cbs helped her clean it up listen to what aired last night following that same question it seems that uh, prime minister netanyahu is not listening we're not going to stop pursuing what is necessary for the United States to be clear about where we stand on the need for this war to end. Same question, two different answers. The White House hasn't seen a cleanup like that since they had to blast steam Biden's seat cushions. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. But maybe she knows more about the economy. There are lots of signs that the American economy is doing very well, better than most countries, I think. But the American people don't seem to be feeling it. Groceries are 25% higher. And people are blaming you and Joe Biden for that. Are they wrong? We now have historic low unemployment in America among all groups of people. We now have an economy that is thriving by all macroeconomic measures. By all macroeconomic measures like, say, inflation, the thing that he asked about? Harris wouldn't, know, Harris wouldn't know a macroeconomic measure if it slapped her in the face. Don't get any ideas, Doug. <laughs> but her price is still too high, and does she know that? And, to your point, prices are still too high. And I know that, and we need to deal with it, which is why part of my plan, you mentioned groceries, Part of my plan is what we must do to bring down the price of groceries. I'm taking Harris says she'll press Congress to pass a federal ban on price gouging for food and groceries, but details are yet to be defined. Wow, her voice changed. <laughs> Did you hear that too? Apparently her answer was so bad. CBS made their own correspondent answer it in a voiceover. Now, our economic plan would add $3 trillion bucks to the federal debt. I hope she, he asks her how she's going to pay for that. How are you going to pay for that? Okay, so the other econ economists that have reviewed my plan versus my opponent and determined that my economic plan would strengthen America's economy, his would weaken it. But my plan, Bill, if you don't mind, my plan is about saying that when you invest in small businesses... You invest in the middle class, and you strengthen America's economy. Pardon me, Madam Vice President. I, the, the question was, how are you going to pay for it? Well, one of the things is I'm going to make sure that the richest among us who can afford it pay their fair share in taxes. But we're dealing with the real world here. But the real world includes... How are you going to get this through Congress? You know, when you talk quietly with a lot of folks in Congress, they know exactly what I'm talking about because their constituents know exactly what I'm talking about. So eggs cost twice as much as they did four years ago because the rich aren't paying enough taxes? Those two things have about as much to do with each other as Brian Kilmeade and fan mail. <laughs> wow. So what about her switching up positions like Optimus Prime doing yoga? What you got to say about that? They say that the reason so many voters don't know you is that you have changed your position on so many things so many that people don't truly know what you believe or what you stand for and i know you've heard that in the last four years i have been vice president of the united states and i have been traveling our country 
And I have been listening to folks <coughs> and seeking what is possible in terms of common ground. I believe in building consensus. We are a diverse people, geographically, regionally, in terms of where we are in our backgrounds. And what the American people do want is that we have leaders who can build consensus. Feeling great and you're the cops and the border because you traveled? Well, I'm going to Thailand next month. Maybe then I'll support men playing women's sports. <laughs> when she says building consensus, she really means lying. So how about her specialty, the border? There was an historic flood of undocumented immigrants coming across the border the first three years of your administration. As a matter of fact, arrivals quadrupled from the last year of President Trump. Was it a mistake to loosen the immigration policies as much as you did? It's a long-standing problem. And solutions are at hand. And from day one, literally, we have been offering solutions. What I was asking was, was it a mistake to kind of allow that flood to happen the, in the first place? I think the policies that we have been proposing are about fixing a problem, not promoting a problem. Okay. But, but the, the numbers did quadruple. And the numbers your, today quadrupled. Great. Now you've taught her a new word. She's going to be saying it all month. Well, CBS did, CBS did what they could to salvage this train wreck. The whole thing was chopped up like a line of coke on the ass of one of Hunter's escorts. Still, she didn't make any sense. But does it matter? This entire media blitz with a month left isn't meant to convince anyone. Harris is irrelevant. She could be anybody. She is anybody. The apparatus behind her, however, is hoping you follow this media trick-or-treating and not pay attention to what's going on behind the scenes. Remember the Time Magazine piece on the shadow campaign that got Biden into the White House? The alliance of left-wing activists, government, and media who forced changes in voting systems and laws, secured hundreds of millions in funding, recruited armies of poll workers, and pressed social media companies to suppress stories like Hunter's laptop. That's nothing compared to now. Governor Newsom just banned voter ID. Why, if not for fraud? Couple that with its massive growth in numbers of migrants in swing states since 2021, and you see that something's up. And it's far worse than the de Democrats' awful candidate. I mean, she sucks. But that's a deflection from the setup right in front of us. You gotta ask, why in God's name would they run something that bad? if it mattered. They wouldn't, so it doesn't. What matters is that you see what's really going on and it's another deep state shell game. And they win if you pick the candidate with an empty skull. Let's welcome!